So I'm starting with a server with a GUI. You can see I have the taskbar, system tray, explorer, internet explorer is all available. I'm going to remove this down to just a pure server core. So I'm going to select the local server. It's part of the features, user interfaces, and because I'm going to remove the graphical management tools, that's also going to remove the graphical shell, which is dependent. Let it reboot. And we'll wait and we'll come back to this. The reboot finished. I'll log back on. So the log on screen seems the same. But now this is what I get. I'm now at server core level. So from here I have no server manager, no internet explorer, no explorer. I do have notepad. I have the registry editor, task manager, oh. date and time and international. That's basically everything I've got. But what I can do is I can still launch into PowerShell from here. So I still have access to PowerShell. So what I'm gonna do now is fire up PowerShell. Now I could remotely manage this box still from Server Manager, no problem at all. But just to show you how I can do it through sort of the PowerShell line as well, I'm just gonna install the Windows feature and I'm gonna add the server GUI management infrastructure, not the graphical shell, just the management infrastructure. So that's gonna take it to that minimal server interface level. So it's still gonna be this command line, but it will give me server manager, all the control panel, MMC, etc. So now I'll let that reboot. So the reboot's finished. If I log on again, set up this command line window, but this time I have the management infrastructure. So server manager is automatically going to launch. So I can access server manager. I've also got things like the MMC. I've got more of the control panel applets available to me now. Obviously I've got server manager, but there's still no iExplore or explorer.exe. But pretty much all of the rest of the management infrastructure is in place. So this is that minimal server installation. And again, from here, if I decided to, I could actually now add this server back up. To the full level. So I can go into the manage, add it's a feature it's a local server i'm going to have to do the reboot manually because i've got to select it now when that's done i'll be back right back to where we were so each time it's just a reboot to move between all those configuration levels i hope that was useful um, definitely, again, the goal is start with server core. So that doesn't work, use minimal server interface, and then sort of server with a GUI is kind of, if you have to, all of them should be managed remotely. Thank you.